He is aged 43. He came to us in April 2019 with a diagnosis of psoriasis. Better now, primarily when he, when he came for treatment, there was a lot of dryness of the skin and he had, it had been there for last two years. His primary concern was there was dryness, itching was not that much of a concern. There was quite a lot of exfoliation of the skin as well. He mentioned it is generally worse in winter and skin is better by warm application. If you see the skin is quite better right now compared to earlier on. Hello, Achita. He's saying 80% improve. Um, whenever you get cases of psoriasis, if you think of miasmatically psoriasis, Harvey Roberts in his book, Art of Homeopathy Principles and Practice of Homeopathy, he mentions psoriasis is a marriage of all miasms. So you have the dryness of soda, you have the fish scale exfoliation of psychosis, and you may have the pus formation of syphilis. I repeat, Roberts calls it as a marriage of all miasms. Why is that? You can get a psoriasis patient who has the dryness of soda. You know dryness I shared with you yesterday, soda. You may have the scaling of psychosis. You know, you get psoriasis patients where there's a lot of flaking and you know the bed is filled up with flakes when they wake up in the morning. That's psychosis. Whereas you may sometimes get cracks and pus of syphilis. You are with me? So depending on that stage, try and understand what is the surface miasm. Right? So that's quite important for psoriasis. For him, I will say when he came to us initially, it was a soda psychosis because there was dryness and there was quite a lot of flaking as well. He mentioned the winter aggravation, it was better by hot water. And he also mentioned it was worse from sweating as well. The skin used to flare up on sweating as well. Generals, he sweats quite a lot with bad smell. He has recurrent nail infections with pus formation. He is a hot person who likes spicy, sour. He drinks quite a lot of water, around 4 liters per day, 4 to 5 liters per day. Particulars, he has headache from traveling. Uh, appetite is generally poor in the evening. Headache from traveling, appetite is poor in the evening. Stool is very bad smelling. That's it. Mentals were not quite prominent. He is irritable. He can be organized as well. He is a Catholic priest. Right? If you look at the tongue, it's quite a thick tongue. He is diabetic as well. So that contributes to diabetic, that contributes sometimes to the flaring up of the skin as well, you know. Mm -hmm. You see, the surface miasm for the skin at the time he came to us, sora psychosis, you are with me, for the dryness and the scaling. But in this case, what's interesting and the, what's, what I want to share with you is although his surface miasm in terms of skin was that, but I had good totality for a syphilitic medicine. You are with me? What is the syphilitic medicine here? If you see, he is quite thirsty. He sweats quite a lot. He has nail infections which have pus. You are with me? He has a thick flabby tongue. You are with me? I started with Merxol. Also, if you see the particulars, his itching was worse from sweating as well. You are with me? You know mercury is a syphilitic medicine. And all natural discharges aggravate for the syphilitic miasm. I repeat again the points for mercury. He is very thirsty. He sweats quite a lot. His itching, his skin itching is worse from perspiration. With a thick flabby tongue. And nail infections which form pus. You, you recall I shared with you yesterday, suppuration is syphilitic. So, because I had a good totality for the generals, I went ahead with that, ignoring the surface miasm for
for the psoriasis. So, psoriasis is the surface miasm, but you understand mercury is predominantly syphilitic, right? So, because I had a good totality, I started with Merck salt. With skin cases, 30C is the starting potency. Psoriasis, please make sure you always start with 30C. You know, even if you have good emotional totality, please start with 30C. You never know when it flares up, you won't be able to support them. You will see here, whenever you are dealing with skin cases, you are always a starting potency is 30C. Once the patient is sensitized, you can always go higher up the scale. Right? And do always remember, I have shared this with you uh, uh, probably in the sitting in session, but do always remember whenever you are giving any potency, Kent mentions this in his lesser writings, give two doses of one potency and then you can go ascend to the higher potency. So if you are giving 30C, give two doses, then you can go to 200C, then 1M, then 10M. Sorry? No, depending on when you need to repeat, right? Like you gave a single dose. And if it's coming back again, then you can give another dose. So it's better to extract the action of a particular potency. You need to give two doses of one potency. Then you can go higher up the scale. Now, if you is improving, wait and watch. When it stands still again, you again give another dose of the same potency. Then again, wait and watch. And then as time permits, you give a 200 C later on. When he came to us, his blood sugar levels was quite high. <coughs> I had given him as an organopathic, and I want you to have a look in Borike for this medicine, Cisesium jambolanum. I'll write that to you. This is in the main section of Borike, although it's an Indian drug, it's in the main section. Cisesium is prepared from a very old Indian uh, fruit, and it, which is used very, with very good results for diabetes mellitus. I want you to try this medicine when you go back in patients with diabetic dermopathy where you have skin complaints with diabetes mellitus. It's really, really fantastic. I want you to open Borike, please. Sorry. Skin and you have to give something separate for the sugar levels. Initially, it was not coming down and he was on conventional medication, mm -hmm. right? Later on, in the second or third follow-up, I gave him the cesium to stop the conventional medicine. Okay. So we can put this in our... Yes, please. You can put this in your clinical tips under diabetes or under skin, wherever it's suitable. Diabetes will be better to remember. If you open Borike, you will see any skin complaints. It's not just psoriasis, it can be a diabetic ulceration. If you see in Borike, it's mentioned the most useful remedy in diabetes. No other remedy causes so marked the degree in diminution and disappearance of sugar in the urine. There's also another line, diabetic ulceration. So if you remember just one, sim one word, skin symptoms with diabetes mellitus. And cesium will help you really, really well. Yeah, specifically skin. Because you have, I'll share with you later on other medicines where you have diabetes with urinary symptoms, diabetes with uh, neurological symptoms, but for cesium it's specifically diabetes mellitus with skin symptoms, right? Try tincture, 10 drops in a cup of water, twice a day, at least for 6 to 8 weeks. And then we do the blood sugar levels, repeat again. You're with me, I repeat again, 10 drops of the tincture in a cup of water, two times a day. Continue that for at least 6 weeks, and then you do a repeat blood sugar levels to assess how is the change. When he came to me with the marks, with when we prescribed Marxol, I didn't give him the cesium, right? Later on, in the first visit, he didn't mention about the conventional medicine. When he mentioned about the conventional medicine, we gave him the cesium and asked him to withdraw the conventional medication. You're with and me? he did withdraw it. Yes, yes. Because he was having the confidence that he's getting better. Conventional medicine? He used to take the medicine twice a day, yeah. yeah, and because it was not very high, I asked him to withdraw completely and start cesium twice a day, right. In patients who are taking, say, insulin or taking very high doses of conventional medicine, we generally taper off, you know, withdraw 25% of the medication. Six weeks later, withdraw 50%. So generally, it's like that. But with him, we could go it at one go, right. So because if you withdraw everything at once, it will suddenly shoot up and you know, they won't come back to you, right? So generally, it's tapering off. I'll share with you other cases as well. But here, we could withdraw completely. Um, He's saying it's almost 80% better. There used to be quite a lot of patches here. Ajay, one 
year and half I am coming. Now this only 80 percent where I find very much improvement. Otherwise, it was very difficult to walk. Also, it's painful. Now it's become almost getting healing. The curing I'm getting the almost. Hate chilo. It was in also in the finger, in the hand finger I was getting all the roughness. Now slowly it become this hand is become cured already. But leg portion is still prevailing. Another You see this is also following Herring's law. His hand got better first. You know Herring's law? Hmm. Hand got better first and his legs gradually started to improve part of that. So I was absolutely sure that this would work. You know? So in that way. We started with Marsal 30C in April 2019. Boost, boost, boost. July 30C repeat again. 200C in November and that's it. So you see, hopefully Mark will completely heal it up. Cesium was started in June. Right. Now this time sugar is little uh, high. Because winter, I bit a little laziness. For one and a half month, did not work. Usually, 4.30, I get up. Have one hour exercise thoroughly. But I neglected that part. I did not have a, this one, uh, exercise of walking. So again, I started now this 20 day, 15 days. Again, at least one hour walking. Exercise, thorough exercise. That's good. You realize that. Uh, sugar levels had come down. He's saying it's gone up a bit this time. But we're continuing with cesium. You understand the skin is much better. So he's continuing with cesium. Gradually, when the, it gets to come down, we can withdraw the cesium as well. You know, what I do generally, he's taking the cesium. Two times. Ten drops. Ten drops. He's taking ten drops twice. So when it gradually starts to come down, I ask them to withdraw it eight drops twice a day. Then six drops twice a day. So, you know, gradually, gradually, we can taper the cesium off as well. Right, because once his constitutional medicine is kicking in, you know we don't need the organopathic as well. The organopathic was given initially because, you know, he was on conventional medicine, so that we could withdraw it and giving an organopathic support. But since he's improving, we'll gradually taper off the cesium in course of time as well. Hopefully, yes. Because he's diabetic, probably he needs to continue. You know, because sometimes other symptoms can creep up later on. So, he's quite diligent and comes regularly for follow-up, so, that's good. We are boosting today, um, and advice is continue cesium and walking. You see, this just an example to share that sometimes a good totality, you can ignore the, what is the surface miasm of the skin, right? So, in this case, I'll share with you cases where the surface miasm of the skin was itself diagnostic to prescribe. So, you know, just... A varying way of prescription. Take it. Thank you.